Oh my god, what the hell is going on here? Look at that. This is so annoying. But you know what, guys? Do not leave because I have a fix for this. And I'm gonna show you how to take care of that. Okay, guys. So first thing first, the FSLTL installer. Uh, I'm sure many of you are familiar with it. If you don't have it by any chance, you can get it from FSLTL website. So... So the official Discord, as you can see on the screen, the latest announcement about the MSFS 2024 support um, it mentions basically that it's still not fully supported. Like that basically that they cannot guarantee the fully functional product, uh, especially the injector. So people are asking for things such as what is the estimated time when this is going to be released, uh, the official version for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. They are saying we cannot give any ETA as a free project without with volunteers. We never give any time scales, but we are as keen as you. I can uh, say that it does work. It does work pretty well, actually. Uh, but there is a, something you need to do in the simulator and I'm definitely going to help you with that small issue if you are facing the same issue. But again, first thing first, guys. If you had a Flight Simulator 2020 installed or if you still have it installed, the ideal way to do this uh, installation of SFL FSLTL is not by moving the whole uh, base traffic folder from... 20 community folder into 2024 community folder please don't do that that's not the right way and you might be uh, seeing plenty of issues instead come to the installer go to the base models and uninstall it right i already did so i'm not gonna do it now so first thing first uninstall it yes it's going to take it away from microsoft flight simulator 2020 but then again this is the way how to do it if you don't want to face major issues. Okay, after you uninstall it, you need to come over here, down left, there is a gear settings button. You would click on it and you would click on download. Then there are two pathways or two directories. One is MSFS community directory and the other one is over here, install directory. So you need to make sure to change them to your community folder of MSFS 224. If you don't know how to find the community folder for this uh, simulator, please watch my other video where I explain how to find uh, the community folder for MSFS 224. Then you can go back over here and you can download or install basically the base models, okay? Base models. So again, you can see that I have an install option here. It's because I already have it installed. So please, please do not move the folder manually from your old community folder to the MSFS 2024. Do not do that. Otherwise, you will experience issues. So once you install the base models, you can also update the injector. Uh, the latest stable version is 1.6.7. Once you are done with this uh, with this setup, we can go into simulator and I'm going to show you something important. Stick around. All right, guys. So first thing first, we're here at Dublin Airport. Uh, I have uh, selected Cessna. This is just for demonstration. So as you can see, my airport is completely empty. There is no aircraft whatsoever. You might be asking, well, I'm still getting some aircrafts there. Um, so first thing first, what you have to do, what you have to make sure in order to use third-party traffic such as FSLTL properly. You need to go to settings and you need to make sure that if you click on global rendering quality and go all the way down, you have uh, two options down here, traffic airport quality and air traffic. If you have these set on low, medium, high or ultra, you will see the default traffic. And then if you would start FSLTL either by Beyond ATC or just by injector, it would kind of uh, conflict basically. And there will be airplanes parked at the same gate, like uh, uh, two or three airplanes together at the same spot. It will be all messy. So make sure that you have this turned off. Okay, that's why 
when we go back, I don't have any aircrafts here. Okay, that is exactly why. So now let me demonstrate uh, the Beyond ATC integration. Beyond ATC connected. And then we let Beyond ATC load. So once Beyond ATC is loaded, in a moment we'll see traffic being spawned. As you can see, it's already showing up. So we have all the Ryanairs at the correct spots on Dublin Airport. This is Terminal 1. So this is all correct, actually. And this is why Beyond ATC does a really good job, because it assigns the gate properly. We can see all those A330s in the back, Terminal 2, the Aer Lingus, Turkish Airlines here, Aer Lingus A320, Terminal 3. And now we don't have Asobo traffic mixed with FSLTL. Now we just have FSLTL traffic. So the only bug at the moment, the major bug, you might be hearing in the background, I have it on low volume though, that kind of barking effect. It's only happening when you are outside or the external view. Once you are in the cockpit, you can barely hear that. Uh, so again, this happens only in external view. So it's a small, small detail. Someone might be annoyed by that. It doesn't really bother me, to be honest, so much. It would be great if they fix this, but at the moment it is what it is. However, this is the way how to properly have traffic provided by FSLTL base models only without all these ugly default Asobo aircrafts. Make sure that you change those two options in sim settings in order to have this properly displayed. Okay, so I have opened the uh, fly-by-wire installer. We have the injector. I'm going to select start. Let's wait until this loads. As you can see, the injector proper properly reading the uh, location of the actual community folder. Community location limitless, which is basically the one from MSFS 2024. So that should read automatically. There is no issue with that. And then I already set everything how I like it. So I just press enter and let's wait a little bit and let's see whether we get some traffic here. We should, we start seeing some airplanes. Again, it's probably not gonna be as accurate as the Beyond ATC, but let's give it a few moments. So we are seeing some air aircrafts injected little by little. Again, it does take a little while, so you have to give it a few moments. They are not entirely, I would say, accurate as far as the gates because at the moment we should see much more Ryanair's around the Terminal 1 but it doesn't inject enough aircrafts over here it does inject those some aircrafts in the back even if you use injector to have some of these uh, aircrafts injected into your sim you wouldn't have that issue with the default Asobo aircrafts uh, injected together with FSLTL at least. That's a good thing, because that could be pretty ugly. It could be a immersion breaker. And I'm already hearing some engines going on. So there is a Ryanair going on. So yeah, it does work. It does work to some extent. I just realized another thing, guys. The uh, barking sound, I cannot hear it now. So it's not really a FSLTL issue. Well, it could be something in coding. But it happens only if you have a Beyond ATC controlling the traffic. Then you would hear that annoying uh, barking sound. So it must be something between Beyond ATC and FSLTL models. But if you use injector, you won't hear this annoying barking sound. Uh, and it does seem to work somehow. Like we have a moving traffic. We have another one, Qatar Airlines, which is correct. And the good thing is that we don't hear that annoying uh, sound, the barking sound. So there you go, guys. I hope that this video helped you with uh, traffic issues. And for the moment, it's usable. It's definitely usable. I do not get any crash to desktop. At least I didn't in the morning. Um, so give it a try. And see for yourself how does it work. FBW installer does work. FSLTL injector. There you go, guys. Traffic in action. 
So there is a one more thing I wanted to point out. When are you selecting your free flights and you have your airplane selected and you select your departure in flight conditions, in order for all this traffic to work correctly, you need to have the air traffic off. All right. Do not have it on AI and do not have it on live. So that's all from myself today. You have a wonderful day. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel and you enjoy my content, please subscribe. It does definitely help my channel to grow. And I do appreciate all the support from my subscribers, all your likes, comments. Feel free to drop the comments. I always try my best to answer to everyone. And uh, you have a nice day, guys. So see you next time.